In today's video, we will be showing you guys how to install the player stats plugin. This player stats plugin is mainly used to display stats about players on their PvP and PvE stats. This plugin also comes with an optional plugin UI. The player stats plugin can be found on restoremonarchy.com. When you get to the player stats plugin page, make sure you read the description of the plugin to understand all of the features and understand how the plugin works. After you've done that, select download. After you downloaded, a zip file would be downloaded to your computer. Head over to that file and extract it. After you've extracted it, you have two folders, one with plugins and one with libraries. The next step is to head to your server and select files, servers, unturned, rocket, plugins. Open your files and select plugins and drag and drop the plugin DLL into the plugins folder. The next step is to head, up, head back one directory and select libraries. Go back to your files and open your libraries and select all your libraries and drag and drop them into the libraries folder. If you want to download the optional UI, select unturned and workshop download configuration. Go back to the player stats page and this with this code right here, copy it and paste, paste it in this selection and save your file. After this, go back to your console and restart your server. After your server restart, head over to files, servers, unturned, rocket, plugins, and select the player stats folder. And now select the config. In the player stats config, you can change message color, which is the color of the translations, message icon URL, which is the like, icons of the translations, and database provider. This one is very important. This plugin supports both JSON and MySQL. If you were to use JSON, um, if you were to use MySQL, just type MySQL and type in your MySQL connection string. The next field is player stats table name. This is what the table name will be called in the database if you use MySQL. The next thing is save interval seconds. This is how often your the stats save to the database. Enable UI effect. This is not by default set to false, but if you're going to use a UI, make sure this, this option is set to true. This is the, if, the effect ID. You shouldn't really change this because it's like the default. The next thing is show UI, UI effect by default. So for example, if someone's in the server and you have the UI enabled, do you want them to automatically have the UI like shown to them? The next thing is Join leave message. So for example, if someone joins a server, it will it will just send a message and if they leave the server, they'll get a message as well. The next thing is PvP stats and PvE stats. So enable which one you like or both of them. And then the next thing is PvP PvP ranking and PvP rewards. These matter if you're gonna use the reward system. If a player reaches a threshold, they will get this reward, which is a permission group. Uh, this is the minimum ranking threshold. So we'll pretend like you need a minimum of like 30 kills to get ranked. This is it's pretty much what it is. It's a requirement to get ranked. Next is the player stats translations. Select player stats and select player stats translations. In your translations file, you can change the text that gets sent by the plugin. This plugin has a lot of translations, so you can customize it how you'd like. This is what the UI should look like in game after you install the workshop mod and then enable it in the config. The commands of player stats are these ones right here. I'm going to show you them in game as well. The first command is slash stats. This will show you your server PvP stats and your PvE stats or whatever you have set up in config. The next command is slash playtime. This shows you your total server playtime. 
Next command slash rank. It just shows you your, your rank. To show the leaderboard and slash ranking. This is what it looks like. Top five players by kills is just all the PvP. The next command is slash stats UI. This enables and disables your UI and it also saves a database. So if you rejoin, it stays how you, you kept it from before. There's also these commands like uh, session stats, slash ss -S stats. This will show you your stats from when you join the server. You can also do this with playtime, so slash s playtime. And this shows you how long I've been on the server for. And that's all. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please comment down below or join the Discord link in the description.